Yo, Sakafet, I'm Sammy Biz. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a bouncy Yamaha piano instrument on NFL Studio 20. It's gonna be a focalistic, mellow and slazy type vibe. We're gonna see how to create the drum patterns, add melodies, I will also add some vocal and then master the instrumental. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First, let's set our tempo, 1012, something like that, and start with uh, a snare, let's go with this. And then I'm gonna need a bit like good marble. Okay, go, 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 turn. And then uh, go with. Okay, go, turn, turn, go. Something, something like that. And then. this one and then go to pick again let's use to snare use the light this one nice and then go to kick i'm gonna use this one right click fill each first step and next i'm gonna be adding uh a shaker let me use this one sorry Comment B with duplicated pattern A and then sorry. Nice. One thing we can do guys, we can go to um the bonus folder. Let's use this one and then no this one instead. And now guys, I'm just gonna go to Afro Vibe and then go to IR. And we're gonna add this one right here. Nice. Now guys, I'm just gonna add labs so I can create my core progression and go to labs. And then here we have it. And now let's make it more interesting, guys. So first thing on this one, I'm going to transpose. signal and the next thing we're gonna do guys we're gonna just um transpose transform this one into sorry just from this one into a reverse chord. So I'll Q quantize everything to make sure mm. that everything is tight on time. And then we quick when the as your clip start. Now guys, just drag it to a playlist and then hit reverse. Sorry, reverse. Now we're gonna chop it. And then we arrange it.
that sound more interesting so now let's go back and then Let's see if we can find another I had. Go to Afro Vibe. This is gonna work. Okay, now I'm just gonna add uh, Nixos and then um, go to Factory Preset, go to Lead. And then Okay, let's see how we can do with this one. Now that we have our chord progression, we have some melody and the drums, we're gonna start adding some bass vibe. Load um, Floaty DX10 and we're gonna use this particular preset, bass block. And let's create our bass. You do it like that and then we back like this. Let's go there. Nice. Guys, we're gonna make it more and more interesting. Go to um uh, float is the extent again and then use this preset Sami Beats Log preset. I'm gonna drop this one uh, this year. It's gonna be free. I'm preparing a little free pack for you guys and then this preset is gonna be in it. So stay tuned for that. And guys, I'm just trying to make the bass pattern more interesting and then when people hear it, they, they just want to dance. You see what I mean? So yeah. Go with a uh, B right here and then go with that. And then we're gonna take this one, one octave lower, like that. And 
then guys we're gonna duplicate it again and then go out here go to um rp code and then play and then and then we're gonna just need like this same pattern this one so we can add some attack to it Okay. Why it to a mixer channel? Go out here. Let's into this one. And then now we're gonna just add some reverb. Let's record that. And now we add some delay to make it more interesting. Ping pong and then. Nice. Okay. And now guys, I'm just gonna add uh, some plugin that I really love adding on my master boss. So first thing gonna be a DSSL uh, Fusion is gonna be the Vintage Drive. just like you add some distortion and then make it sound really nice and next thing gonna be the SSL uh, H compressor it's like you're gonna compress some high frequencies um. just like that And then the next thing gonna be the uh, stereo image. Let's go. See before and after. And next thing guy, I'm just gonna add the L1 Ultra Maximizer. Maximizer. Nice, I love it guys, I love it guys. Now I think I'm gonna add some vocal. <laughs> Let me just record some crazy vocal guys. Where is my hey.
let's try again. Let's see. This are my stop. We don't need this. Delete. Guys, it's just me vibing. It's not, it's not like something, something, you know, it's just me vibing and then see if it's going to sound nice. You see what I mean? So now we're going to just mix it and make it sound like, like a background vocal, not a lead vocal. You see what I mean? Now guys, we're going to select the one that we love. So let's play. Sorry. I think this one sounds like... And then we're just gonna cut it right here. I love everything that we create, the drums, the chord progressions, melodies, and also I really love the background vocal that are just at the vibe vocal. So now I'm just gonna make the arrangement off camera and then play the final vibe for you. Enjoy. <laughs> That's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions please leave them down below or DM me, follow me on Instagram at SammyBeats and see you guys, bye!